Hello and welcome to another episode of the Simeon Says Screencast. I uh, just want to take a minute tonight to show you how to get your Flex Builder instance set up so you can use the Flex 4 SDK, the Gumbo SDK, to do development. So we're going to start at by going to the opensource.adobe.com website and clicking on the Adobe Flex SDK project here on the home page. That's going to load up the Flex SDK page and we are going to navigate to the download section. And from there we're going to proceed to the all gumbo downloads. <clears throat> there are three versions of the files available for us here, the Flex SDK, the Open Source SDK, and the add-ons. We're going to go ahead and select the Adobe Flex SDK with the newest build number. I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to drop to my desktop, unzip the Flex 4 SDK build, and I'm actually going to install this into the SDK's directory of my Flex Builder install. With that done, that's all we need of the code. The rest of it is all set up inside of Eclipse. So we're going to go in and we're going to load the Eclipse Preferences. Inside the Eclipse Preferences, we're going to navigate to the Flex subgroup and Installed Flex SDKs. We're going to choose to add a new SDK. We're going to navigate to that folder we just unzipped, select it, and hit the Choose button. Let's see if this automatically populates the Flex SDK name and we can hit OK. We're going to go ahead and choose to specify OK and now we need to update our project. I'm going to go ahead and run this real quick just so you can see this is a normal Flex 3 project with a button. Works just as you'd expect it to. I'm going to drop back to Eclipse and what we're going to do is change this project so that it uses a different SDK. So instead of use the default SDK which is Flex 3.1, we're going to choose to use a specific SDK and we're going to specify the Flex 4 SDK that we just installed. We also need to update the required Flash Player version to Flash Player 10 because Gumbo targets Flash Player 10. We're going to choose OK. Uh, the new Flex 4 uses a different HTML template so we specify that yes it's OK to overwrite those things and now we are actually using our new SDK. We can run our application again and see that even with the new compiler Everything looks just as it should. But just to prove that this is actually working using the new SDK, I'm also going to drop in a gumbo button. In order for that to work, we have to set up and uh, change the MX namespace to use the new library for the Halo components in Flex4. So we're going to say library. Let me specify that as Adobe Flex Halo and we need to create a new language namespace that uses the new uh, 2009 MXML namespace for Gumbo. So we're going to say XML NS equals HTTP colon slash slash NS dot Adobe dot com slash MXML slash 2009. With that done we can now add in a new button with a label of gumbo button let that recompile and we can run our application of course not it appears that either I messed something up or this isn't reading the default skin for button. You know, their nightly build is under development. So what I'm going to do is just specify uh, the temporary property for the skin as flex.skin.buttonskin. And run this again. And we'll see we now have our halo button and our gumbo button. So that's it. That's all it takes to get yourself set up to be able to run the new examples with FXG and the new Gumbo components. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This has been a Simeon Says Screencast.